Okay, this video is going to demonstrate how to load your BBX tune file to your AutoCal if you got the files from me. So what you should get is an email from me with this info. Uh, that is the link code for the AutoCal to link it to my V2 and then there's a BBX file. So what you're going to do is go to that BBX file. You will download it save it where you know it's at. I recommend normally to just save it to the desktop. That way you know exactly where you put it. Save desktop. Okay, so we're gonna close that. Next thing you do is you will, and this is the instructions on how to do this, but I'm gonna show you how this works. So you're going to highlight this code Control C to copy it. And you want to make sure that the number there at the top matches the AutoCAD you have in your hands. If it does not match, you need to get with me and uh, so I can get that taken care of. But that's step one, that's more most important. Next thing you do is take your AutoCAD, plug it into the laptop. You'll hear the little chime. Okay, so I copy the code. I'm gonna shut this. I'm going to open the V8 scan and tune. Go down here and click the auto cal. Green arrow check mark means it's hooked up. Come over here. Licenses. Bottom, F5 convert. You're gonna click there, you see the cursor flash there, and then you're gonna control V. Once you do that and the code pops up here, paste. See, there's the first issue you might run into when hooking a new AutoCal up, is it may need to be updated. So we will go, okay. We will come over to the software. Well, first we have to close this window back out. Come up here to EFI control. Now nah, we'll check this. Check firmware. Please update. So then you just click that button there. It's going to update. This can be an issue a lot of times because the software gets updated quite often. So if your version on your computer is different than what your tuner has, then you need to update to match. And if you don't have it already on your computer, you just go to efilive.com, go to downloads, and get the newest um, public release version from their website. Okay, so click OK. Now you go back over here to licenses, converts, click there, control V, converts, device converted successfully. If you did it correctly, your AutoCal will not say it needs to be linked on the front anymore, and if you scroll down through it, there's nothing on it tune-wise, but this is your ID for this, the serial number for the AutoCal, and then that would be the V2 number. So it's there. Now, you will come up here, you will close this window. You will come over to the BBX block right there. Click. Quick setup. Open. Now remember we saved that to the desktop, so you will go desktop, VBX. This is the correct VBX file. When you look at it, that's the name of the tune there. It's full flash only. 
and there's the device license number and then the serial number on the back of the AutoCal. If that is correct, then you come right here with the AutoCal plugged in the laptop. You click on the program, quick setup. Reconfigure AutoCal with current selected, yes. Now it's going through and should say the configuration files are copied. You click OK. Now it's going to copy the tune file into the actual AutoCal now. This takes just a touch longer. Now the name of the file there where you see it, it's LBZ DSP5 base to B2S which means base to street ring REM is a remote file. Once this programs, it's going to come up and say that it's programmed it. Quick set details have been programmed. Now, if you unplug this, plug it back in, scroll through, There's, so you can read if you need to read the stock, but you will click this full now that means the tune is there so then you would take this unplug it from this go to your truck plug the ALDL cable into the truck and the other end into the bottom of the auto cow turn the key on all the power robbing accessories off you come to this screen right here you would click OK and it's gonna check it overall it's gonna give me an error because I'm not plugged into a truck which is what that is, but yours that you come through and say license and license it and then it will full flash it. Once it's done, it'll come up until you turn the ignition off and you are done. It is programmed. That's all there is to it. Thank you.